The overall goal of this procedure is to outline the principles and practices involved in aseptic surgery in rodents. This is achieved by first introducing the concept of the sterile field. Next, the correct preparation of the work area that will allow for a smooth workflow and maintenance of the sterile field is demonstrated. Then, the steps necessary to prepare the animal and surgeon that will minimize the introduction of environmental contaminants and pain to the rodent are described. Finally, simple surgical considerations such as tissue handling and post-operative care of the surgical subject are discussed. Generally, researchers new to surgery will struggle because they're learning both aseptic technique and a technically demanding surgical procedure at the same time. Visual demonstration of aseptic technique is important because often these skills are new to individuals that have no formal medical training. Before beginning any surgical procedure, it must be approved by the local legal or ethical authority. This might include an institutional animal care and use committee, an ethics committee, or the home office. This video is meant to be an introduction or supplement to hands-on training that, that is provided at your institution. The goal of surgical procedures on rodents is asepsis, or the lack of infection following surgery. To achieve this, the surgeon's hands must be disinfected, the instruments sterilized, and the surgical area sanitized. Even with excellent aseptic technique, bacteria originating from the patient may still be introduced into a wound. Proper aseptic technique limits the risk of introduction of infectious agents, primarily bacteria, into wounds and surgical sites. The sterile